documents, archaeological finds and other artifacts be returned to Macedonia. D. All Macedonian prisoners of conscience be released and that all Macedonian revolutionaries be rehabilitated. All of the foreign post-war policies of Yugoslavia in relations to the question of Macedonia who live in the occupied parts of Macedonia in the present political boundaries of Greece, Bulgaria and Albania have given the positive result. As a consequence of political so-called good neighbouring relations, Macedonians were relocated to those countries. Good relations cannot exist with neighbours when those neighbours do not recognise the Macedonians as a separate nationality and the human rights of the Macedonians are not recognised as they should be in accordance with in international convents. Virtually unknown was the extent to which there was an exodus of Macedonia as occurred after the Balkan Wars from the Macedonian population in Bulgaria, Greece and Serbia. In addition, in time of the civil war in Greece, 1945-49, approximately 40,000 Macedonian children and women were expelled from their, from their homes and rest, resettled in Eastern Europe countries. These children, now adults, who are citizens of European and other countries in the world, are not allowed to visit their relatives and the graves of their ancestors, let, let alone being allowed to make any claims to their property. Sadly, the Yugoslav government does not undertake to rectify the simulation and racist policies which have been adopted by Greece, Bulgaria and Albania. On the contrary, on the contrary, the Yugoslav foreign policies in the past 45 years resulted in the simulation and denationalization of the Macedonians in their own country occupied by those powers. In past times, the bilateral plan agreement between Yugoslavia and neighboring countries has left to one side the question of the Macedonian people who live in those countries in order that the atmosphere of cooperation can be maintained. This passive a negligent attitude has led to the situation in which Macedonians now find themselves. We, we reiterate that there can be no good relations when the Macedonian people are exposed to simulation and denationalization and when the policies adopted by the neighboring countries 